Hey guys, this is Mubarak of Impenny Stock. Hope you're doing well. And in this episode, I want to talk to you guys about some different NFTs, all right, non fungible tokens that are really gaining popularity and just different ways that they can be used, all right. So if you haven't seen yet already, you know, NFTs, they've pretty much almost 100x in value, in usage, in popularity over the last year or two. And there's a lot of different functionality behind them all right so if you even you know google nft we can find out what's really going on there um there's just a lot of different news coming out with different applications and so one of the ones i want to talk about today is a really cool application i found of uh tommy hollenstein the nft and it's uh pretty interesting in terms of how they're using it so my whole goal here is to kind of show you guys different strategies and methods on how NFTs are being used in the economy today and especially for artists and musicians, you can see that it's really changed the game for art, right? Because before what's happening is that you would create a piece of art, say in this case, Tommy Einstein, he's a famous impressionist artist. And what will happen is that he will come up with a certain piece of art and sell it <clears throat> to a gallery, depending on if he was doing like a tour or he would be hired to kind of build out a whole collection of paintings for a certain item. And you can always check out this documentary, the Rise documentary, that talks a little bit about his story and <clears throat> everything he's going through. But essentially, that used to be the model before. And now what's happened in the economy is that people are able to get a reseller or a royalty, essentially, off of their art so now the art that he's creating here and the nft collection that he's creating it's first of all it's a very cool concept he's you know taking this impressionist art to the next level and it's going to be a thousand of the different boards that he makes cut into ten thousand pieces and digitized into nfts and um, you know you get the double benefit of owning it both in the physical and the digital and i'll kind of go into detail about the benefits there but the interesting thing here is that Artists and musicians, the reason this is so interesting is because they'll be able to benefit from the initial creation and the initial sale, right? So if he, you know, all of these sell 0.25 ETH times the 10,000, that's a lot of money right there. But you can take it even a step further. And this is really what's going to be allowing individual artists and individual musicians to finally take control of their future and of their assets is that it's going to allow them to be able to monetize it after it continues selling. So rather than the music label in the middle or the art galleries or all these middlemen that kind of, you know, you hear all these stories in the press and about all these celebrities or popular artists that then have issues with their label records or issues with their team that they're working with because the business managers or the middle people or the companies that they uh, that are representing them, quote unquote, they end up taking advantage of them. So the good thing here is that you won't have to worry about that. Um, you be, you're able to kind of keep all of the gain and the benefit as the individual artist. So the really cool thing is that this NFT is um, the really interesting project set up. You can see that there's Ringo Starr, James Franco, uh, Joseph Silva is a team project manager. And uh, essentially there's a big nonprofit that's uh, helping out with this, the Dream Center. So it's been around for about 27 years. They've helped over about 7 million people. Joseph Silva is the project manager, kind of hosting and kind of putting all these big partners together. And so overall, right, what's happening is that the Dream Center is the actual beneficiary. Um, they're the ones that are going to be, you know, essentially kind of, it's a massive nonprofit that's been around for a, a while and they have the programs that help with homeless and drug addicts, you know, they house, ton they house tons of families and veterans um, and they feed thousands of people every day in the city of Los Angeles. So definitely something to check out and all that. But you can see that the NFT is being set up and hosted in uh, OpenSea. That's kind of one of the most popular kind of auction sites. It's still not out yet. You can see that it's in about four days or so where you're going to be able to <clears throat> mint it and get access to it so really you know the question might be what is the perceived value of the tokens right why do you care about it why will they be worth holding 
And it's really just because of the story around Tommy and his work and his kind of network connections. Because what will essentially happen is that you're owning a piece of history and getting involved in this kind of network. So that that's really what you got to think about when you're thinking about NFTs is it's not necessarily just a digital art, right? Yeah, that's cool. But really, you're buying into a membership. You're buying into a group of people that believe in this cause or believe in this value set and you're getting involved in that too and in a population of 7 billion people if you're one of 10,000 in a certain group that's a very very significant piece and a very significant group that's not too large where you'll never end up knowing everybody right and it's also not too short that you know you're going to be in a good position to be able to like not too small that you you'll actually be able to get real connections with people if you're interested in the community aspect of it all. So essentially what you got to do is just uh, to buy the token, you go here and then you kind of collect, uh, you would end up connecting your wallet. Now, definitely make sure that you access their social medias and primarily their Discord and Twitter. That's where the real life kind of lives. <coughs> Sorry. For these NFTs and any of these blockchain projects, really Discord is where the communication happens always be aware of scammers um that's definitely something just to keep an eye out because what will happen on discord is you'll have people acting like they're representing the project so <clears throat> never respond to the private dms or anything of that nature um so what you'll do is that when this is up you'll be able to actually connect your wallet to the website and um Essentially, any ERC-20 wallet will be supported. And I'm actually going to link below to a few links and documentaries to really get a hold of this. Because if you haven't heard of Tommy Hallenstein in the past or come across his different work or art or any of that nature, then you might not understand why this is such a powerful type of project. All right, because, you know, ultimately, yes, it's extremely philanthropic. About 10% of the money his art generates normally goes to charity. Um, there's that kind of level of fame too, but there's a much more deeper, uh, you know, nonprofit charity type work set behind all of this that would really get you to understand it. And as Tommy is a holder of the Board Ape Yacht Club, his connections and essentially will be opened up to you. So, you know, if you don't have the hundreds of thousands or I think it might be a few million now to put into a board Ape Yacht Club, then you would instead be able to kind of benefit from this from a second degree relationship, essentially. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. So, again, the NFT is a very unique Tommy Hallenstein painting. It's going to be an extremely large piece of artwork on a physical nature. It's going to be 20 feet by 400 feet. And there's going to be a thousand of these boards that are cut into 10,000 pieces and digitized. So I'll put links to in the description below so you can check out some of the physical items. But essentially the pre-sale is going to be dropping on the 10th. And then the general sale for minting is on, on the 12th. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, if you have any questions, as always, I mean, this is a very interesting NFT project to keep an eye out on. Um, and I'll be bringing it up closer to the social media posts on the pre-sale on the 10th of March at 4 p.m. Pacific and then the launch and the mint on the 11th. So definitely just keep an eye out for that. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at admin. That's A-D-M-I-N at mpennystock.com. Hope to hear from you guys soon. Take care.